What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range still, as you can see behind me. I've been out here all day long doing a bunch of testing, testing out some new tools, and that's what we got coming up for you on this video. As you can see by the title, it's another new tool, and it's a high point. The very first high point I've ever owned, I figured it was high time that I picked one of them up and seen what the experience was like for myself. So let me show y'all what we're working with. So as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, it's one of the high point carbines. Like I say, this is the first experience I'm gonna have with any high point whatsoever. They had a couple of the carbines in the arcade. They had the 9 mil and the 45. So I went ahead and picked up this carbine in 45 ACP. So like I say, it's high point 4595 model carbine. It's got a 17 and a half inch barrel, 45 ACP. Came with one magazine that holds nine rounds. So that's definitely a downside there. And y'all know throughout this video, I'm going to tell you like I think. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about it. Uh, whether it's good, whether it's bad, I I'm going to I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are. Uh, I'll be honest honest with you the very first impression i had of these carbines and room one of the main reasons i hadn't picked them up is i think they're absolutely ugly as sin uh, it, it honestly makes me feel like it, it gives you that impression of some kind of uh, old cobbled together uh, apocalypse type of gun or, or somebody just uh, dumped out a box of spare parts and said put something together out of this it, it, it's honestly a very ugly gun in my opinion now some people may like the looks of it but uh, I'd, I'd have to question your taste if you like if you truly like the looks of these high point carbines uh, because they're just i mean for everything from the screws in the in the grip like that to the the way you take them down it just looks like something that's been cobbled together out of just just really rough really spare parts stamped metal receiver cover on it uh even when you take this off i took it apart and cleaned it out it's very rough inside of uh, the casting it's got tons of casting marks tons of machining marks so it's definitely not it's the fit and finish leaves a lot to be desired let's just put it that way the front sight post is basically unfinished it's like they mixed and matched all the finishes on it uh the charging handle's got a bolt head sticking out i mean it, it's just not it's not a pretty it's not a pretty tool whatsoever now pretty don't make it run well so that has nothing to do with the function so i'm gonna give you my true thoughts on that too but it's got this weird springy recoil reducing stock butt stock on it so <laughs> that's a little weird there um it's got a charging handle i believe you can put the charging handle on either side it's got the the uh, threaded on here too when you close it so you can put it on that side if you want uh, as far as the sights i'll be honest with you first impression of the sights i'm kind of liking the looks of them it's got a rear peep sight and it's got the post in the front fully adjustable sight in the back and it's actually adjustable for elevation in the front so the sights don't look bad at all to be honest with you it's got pick rails on it now the rails are plastic the, the rail on the top's plastic it's got a plastic rail on the bottom and then it's got this totally useless rail on the front up here on the barrel which i I think it's just the goofiest looking thing ever so um you can get some different things you can get little cheek pads for these some different extra mag holders and several little options and accessories you can get for these but what we're going to do today is just test out the function test it out out there on some steel and just have a little fun with it as far as the ammo i'm running I'm just going to run some full metal jacket 230 grain arms core and then i'm going to run some of these old pmc bronze hollow points these 185s that didn't expand worth a darn out of a handgun i figured i'd burn them up out here with the high points so I'm very curious to see what my experience is going to be with this. Like I say, I'm going to tell you exactly like I feel and tell you what I'm seeing out here. But like I say, we're going to put this thing through its paces out here. I'm going to ring some steel, uh, see how it's grouping out here just out of the box with the iron sights on it. Probably get some two liter bottles, uh, maybe a boom boom or two. Just have a little fun out here with it and make sure it runs good. All right, y'all, it's time to mark the high point experience off my bucket list. So I got a paper target set out there at 25 yards. What we're going to do first, y'all know how I do. I'm just going to see what, what it's grouping like uh, down there on that paper at 25 yards. Y'all should be seeing a picture of it over here in the corner. I just got some arms core, 230 grain ball is what I'm going to start with. I got nine rounds of it. I'll probably put in a uh, three or four round, three or four round group on it down there. Um, and as y'all know, I, I'm straight up honest about the, hitting my targets out here at like 25 on this paper paper with irons i'm not the greatest with irons mainly because my vision's pretty crappy so um if i'm not grouping up tidy and you know, i'm not gonna blame the weapon just for that so let's see what we get y'all well well that ain't a that's not a good way to start so it had a it had a hang up and it it actually barely wants to feed in there at all so <laughs> that's definitely not a good start but let's see what happens y'all let's see if it'll cycle
y'all see it right there that's definitely not a good start it's having issues feeding around into the into the chamber uh it's like it's hanging up on the top up there that's definitely not a good thing uh, it's, it, <laughs> that's not good y'all seen it right here where i am so let's try another one and it's doing it every single round y'all uh now i'll be honest with you i'm not the kind of guy who if something like that happens i just throw my hands up and say the heck with it um i'll look at this when i get back to the house but what it's doing right now is ruining my range day out here trying to make this video um it's just not it, it's the the angle on this feed ramp it, it seems like a feed ramp issue to me for sure which I, if i even if i wanted to fool with it out here i don't have the tools to mess with a feed ramp out here uh, that's that's disappointing already but let's let's put a few more another thing i'll say is this trigger is absolutely horrendous this trigger is absolutely horrendous y'all let me see what it'll do with this one now this trigger is absolutely terrible and there you saw it again it's not it's not feeding the shells it's a failure to feed issue uh my guess is it's a feed ramp problem the feed ramp is too is too sharp too steep of an angle uh but like i say it's it's there's nothing i can do about it right now out here let me uh let me switch this up let me put those first off i'm gonna check that group down there and let me put these hollow points in here see if they do any different uh they probably won't but let's try it out and see all right y'all i went down there looked at the target nothing on the target at all i have no idea where this thing's hitting at absolutely no idea i'm lining up with the, the uh, point of the post up here in the front <laughs> but apparently that ain't it maybe i'll i'll try to cover the target maybe i'm shooting low or high i'll try to i'll try to notice it um i was too caught up in trying to pay attention to see if the gun was going to actually perform this this is this is very disappointing y'all i'm just going to be honest with you uh but let's try these hollow points let's try these pmc bronze 185 grainers i don't think these are going to do any better uh if anything they may do a little bit worse but let's see what happens well that fed in there maybe these might do a little bit better let's see what happens let's see if i can get on target I, i'm gonna tell you what this trigger is absolutely horrendous y'all this trigger's bad <laughs> it's bad oh mercy let's see what we get let me see if i can aim higher i mean i'm still just not on target i i have no idea where i'm at let me see if i can figure out where i'm at i can't tell where i'm hitting at down there there's holes all around the target from other tests out here so uh, i'm not sure if one of those is it if i'm hitting left if i'm hitting right uh but i'm holding dead center with this thing uh one thing i can say though is y'all saw it did cycle that hollow point so that that's a good thing uh, let me see if i can get on paper down there I mean, I just have no idea where I'm at. Let me try to ring the steel down there. Maybe I'm high. I mean, y'all, I'm shooting at a, at a silhouette of steel out there, and I missed every single one of them at 25 yards. Y'all know I ain't the greatest shooter in the world, but uh, I ain't that bad. <laughs> let me load up. Uh, one good thing though, it did feed them hollow points. So let me load up another mag of those hollow points. Let me see if I can at least get on target. I'll move up here closer and see what I can do. All right, I got another nine rounds of these hollow points. The only problem is I don't mind burning these things up because y'all know they ain't no good as far as hollow points, uh, but I didn't bring but one box of them. I didn't figure to have to go through this many of them, but I'm gonna go down here at the 10 yard and see if I can at least put it on the steel down there. See what we can do with it. All right, it's left. And it didn't cycle. Y'all see it right there. So, so what I just did there is I loaded all nine rounds up. Just before this one, that magazine, I only loaded five up. Um, I don't know. It may be something to do with that. It may be something with the magazine related instead of the feed ramp maybe a magazine issue the follower may be not letting them go up enough i don't know i, I don't know it's just uh, it's hard to say out here with no way to diagnose it let me put that back in see what we get all right so it fed like that when i let it go home let me just see if i can get on the doggone target like i say that was left maybe i'm just hitting way left these sights may be just way left 
Yeah, that's that's what it is. I'm missing lift, and there you go again. Failure to feed again. I wonder if that's a magazine issue. Let me download this back down to five, and let's see if we can get five to run. All right, y'all. I did some adjusting off camera here. Uh, I've had to move this rear peep sight all the way to the right where it's actually touching the side of this sight rail thing here. I know it's not going to come through on camera, but... I've had to move it pretty much all the way over to touch that, and it's still hitting a little bit to the left. Uh, probably what I'll do is work with this some off camera, and I'll probably cant this front sight over a little bit. Just, uh, uh, I mean, because it, like I say, you don't have but so much on this. Either that or I'll put some kind of little sight on it, uh, some kind of optic, which I've got a couple of tests so I made of that. But anyway, um, I shot about 20 or 30 rounds through this off a of camera, and I've got it now. I, I did it in groups of twos, groups of threes with the hollow points, and they started feeding. Got up to five, they fed, so I switched back to these full metal jackets, and I've run two uh, magazines of four and one five. So I've got five in here now, so I don't know if it's a mag problem, if it's a feed ramp problem, or if it, it, it needs a, a break in, like some people like to say. But I've got five full metal jacket in here now. Let's see if I can get a group on paper down there if I can get this to run these five rounds through it and at least get something on paper down there. Let's see what I get, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight for the center. I'm not gonna try to compensate for the off site. This is very awkward with this having this thing adjusted all the way over. Let's see what we get, y'all. All right. All right, looks like I'm hitting high. I see a couple of rounds at the very top, so I'm gonna move it down a little bit. The windage is looking much better. I'm at least on, may even be a little bit right now, to be honest, but let me see if I can move these down a little bit, and if so, I'll adjust this sight down. All right, ran all four of those. All right, so that wasn't too terrible. The windage is looking good. I might be a little bit too, too far to the right now, uh, but I definitely need to come down some. So I'm gonna make a couple little adjustments and we'll go from there. All right, y'all, I did a bunch of adjusting off camera here. This front sight post was actually so loose, it was wobbling all around. So that's part of the, probably part of the reason I had to move this thing all the way to the right. Uh, so I adjusted that a little bit. I also moved it up a little bit. Uh, I've got this about down as far as I can go. So I think I'm pretty much in the ballpark now. I've actually got six rounds in here now, so I'm pressing my luck, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit with the whole grouping right now. And we're just gonna run this thing on some steel and see what it can actually do. If I can get it to run through a whole mag. That'd be nice. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All right, let's try to finish out these four at least. I think uh, I think maybe it's a magazine problem. Like I say, I'm, I'm not going to diagnose it out here in the field. I just don't feel like fooling with it out here. Uh, let's dump these on that 25. All right, so it ran those four. Looks like those were pretty much in the center down there. Yeah, pretty much in the center. I may be hitting a little bit to the right now, to be honest with you. But anyway, I'm going uh, to load us up another magazine. I'm going to try to go out here to the 50 and 75 and press my luck and make something out of this video at least. All right, y'all. I got us some cameras out there at 50 on the yellow target and 75 out on that pink one out there. Um, I wrote, loaded all nine rounds up. I got a feeling it's going to jam up. I think there's a magazine problem. I think this follower is, is either terrible terrible uh something's going on here because these rounds seem really loose and the next one right after the first one it, it doesn't have a good angle on it at all so i'll i'll have to take it home and uh see what's going on for sure but let's see if we can get it to run these I, i'm very seriously doubting it let me go out there to the 50 though see if we can hit it out there with these crazy sights All right, that one did. Let me make sure where I'm at out there before I keep going. All right, looks like I'm a little bit to the right now. Let me put a couple more on the 50 out there. All right. All right, so far so good at the 50. Let me check it again here. 
Yeah, I'm actually a little bit right out there since I made that front adjustment. I moved this back one back to the left just a little bit. Let's see if I moved it too much though. Uh, I'm gonna go out there to the 75, really press my luck with this thing. There we go. I'm not sure where I hit out there. Right at the very bottom, so it's a little bit low. It, I don't know if that's from the drop or if I'm aimed low uh, or what's going on. Maybe because I made these adjustments. Let me hold it a little high out there at the 75. There we go. There we go. All right, I moved it just a few clicks over trying to end up a little bit, try to see if I can get a little bit better on there. Uh, let me go back to the 50 and check it out. See where that was at. That's actually looking better because I was holding high. Let's go back to the 75. I think I got a couple more in here. All right, I was holding exactly where I wanted to on that one and did hit. Looks like it might be a little bit low, but I'll take that right now. Uh, it did run all nine of those right there. That's the first magazine that ran all nine of them. So let me load us up another magazine. Let's try it some more. All right, y'all, since it wanted to act right at the 50 and the 75 now with that last pass, uh, I'm getting real brave and I moved this out to 100. So I got another nine rounds, another full magazine, because if you can't run a full magazine, then that's, that's a huge failure. So it's going to have to run a full mag. That's just the way it is. So I'm going to run it out here to 100 y'all press my luck out here i don't know how good it's gonna go but we're gonna give it a try there we go i haven't having a hole pretty high out there at 100 and that still barely hit the bottom of the target down there yeah i'm having a hole pretty high of course i hit that one high might have been holding a little too high but i still made it out there let's try the last few out there at 100 Did I hit the middle one or one of the side ones? That was just a different sound to it. It's actually doing pretty good out there now. It's feeding good now too. Let's put the rest of them out there. Uh, the wind about blew me off on that one, honestly. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. I'll be honest, that's pretty impressive right there with these crazy sights uh, at 100 yards with 45 ACP. That's, that's pretty impressive right there. It did run all nine rounds too. So let me load this back up with some more. All right, y'all, let's see if we can end this nightmare off with a few fun targets. I'm gonna shoot these bottles here and then I'll set up a boom boom, but got these 185 grain hollow points in there. Let's see if I can get these bottles, y'all. All right, no problem on that one. All right, y'all, let's see if we can at least end this thing out on a good note. I just got one round of the 185 grain jacket of hollow point. The good thing is we ain't got to worry about a misfeed if it's just one round. So hopefully I can get this boom boom. Y'all know I'm really pressing my luck with this thing acting up and the boom boom, that's a double whammy. But let's see if we can get her done, y'all. Here we go. All right, at least that worked out good. All right, y'all, one last magazine and then we're gonna call it. Uh, I'm, I wanna load up another full magazine. I got a full mag of nine full metal jackets in here. Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to give this thing all the benefit of the doubt that I can and say that it improved while I was out here. So far, it went through two magazines. It ran a few there and ran that last one, but I'm gonna dump these last nine pretty quick and see what we get out of it, y'all. Here we go. All right, so it ran them perfect. It, it may be improving. Well, it, there's no doubt it improved throughout the day, but can we call this a success? I don't know.
All right, y'all, I've had all I wanted this thing for today. That's going to do it for the High Point Carbine today. I wouldn't call this a good experience by any means. I, it was an absolutely horrible experience. It definitely started out as one. Last three or four mags, no jams. I, I finally got these sights halfway dialed in, although I'm still I'm, I'm, I'm at full travel on the back right here, so I'll have to work on that some more. But out of the 100, it hit pretty good. I'll have to say I'm giving credit where credit is due. Once I figured out how to line up and get my sight picture, it hit good out there at 150 75 but like i said before it's ugly as sin the trigger is absolutely atrocious this is a really bad trigger um there's just so much take up it's such a it's a, just such a heavy break on it um a big big long reset on it it's not the worst i felt by any means but it's definitely a bad trigger uh there are things you can do to improve upon that though um you know it, it's to, to be honest straight out of the box i've never had as much trouble with feet issues and i've never had to make as much sight adjustment tightening up front sight post some people might say oh well you should have checked that listen here's the thing about this um would i recommend this to somebody absolutely not because you don't know who's gonna buy this thing now somebody like me i'm gonna take this home i'm gonna pull it apart pull the mags apart and i'm probably eventually gonna get this thing running perfect i'll just be honest with you a lot of people aren't like that. A lot of people aren't going to take the time or they're not willing to, or they don't think they should have to, which I agree with them, or they just don't have the ability to get something like this that's not running good and take it home and mess with it and fool with it and do the stuff out here on site like I've done today. Some people just aren't willing or aren't capable to do that. For that reason, there's no way I would recommend this. And as of right now, I'm, I'm still not calling it a pass because there's no way just with a few mags, I would call it a pass. I'm definitely going to come out here and follow up with is uh, like i said i've got a couple sites i've got to do some reviews on i'm going to use this for those sites just because i want to see if i can get this thing and improve um, as far as the actual shooting experience it's a smooth shooter i'll be honest with you very very little recoil but like i say y'all y'all saw the performance of it performance is absolutely iffy and that's just not acceptable you can't there you can't depend on something if it's not going to be a hundred percent reliable and i know some people are out there oh well it needs to break in it, it's it just needed to get broke in let me tell you something i'm one that's in the camp that there shouldn't be no break in if you're having a break in period something ain't right I, i'm not looking for anything that has to have a break in period it should run straight out the box without fail a hundred percent or else something's wrong with it that, that's just the bottom line but i'm gonna stop with the ranting right there like i say it, it's definitely mixed results on this thing absolutely terrible to start out with towards the end not so bad at all um there's things i like about it there's things i absolutely despise about it but it, it's it's definitely a mixed bag i'm gonna come out here and revisit it like i say i'm gonna put some sights on it do some tests with it and mess with it at home and we'll get it running 100 percent in the end but should you have to go through that process to get something running 100 percent, I, I personally don't think so but y'all leave me some comments down below let me know what y'all's thoughts are on these things i know some people having them they've probably run 100 percent perfect straight out the box some people probably have the experience i had uh, let me know down in the comments what y'all's experience with these hard, high point carbines have been but if you did enjoy the video reach down and hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload this new content appreciate all my range game members for reaching out and hitting that join button that really does help support the channel so i thank y'all for that appreciate every single person who supports the channel by watching my videos by hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and again leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about this high point carbine the sun is just about done for the day but i got a couple quick things i want to try to knock out while i'm out here so make sure y'all stay Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.